So get thee to a nunnery, which is where I'm staying now. This is my first time out in five days. I have to go and get a SIM card. The monsoon has arrived and it's been a downpour and I love it. All the little droplets and I don't want to leave. So I'm going to stay longer. So I'm, the nuns have allowed me out on furlough to go and do my email stuff because the phone doesn't work <laughs> when we have electricity. But actually we've had more electricity than I've thought that we would have. We can even count in it at night when we need a fan when it's 100 degrees out, but they call it Celsius. So this is what's entailed in walking to the village, walking through herds of buffalo and these wonderful trees. I wanted adventure so I thought I'd not take the road. I've already been down a ravine and up, fallen <laughs> in the mud because it's been raining for two days. And now I'm going to walk through the buffalo. So I forgot to say we're in Lumbini where Buddha was born. This is what happens here in the sacred garden. The buffalo are having a bath. Just hanging out. They have big horns, so I don't think I'm going to walk through them. Aren't they handsome creatures? Well, animals, not creatures. So, oh, here's some more guys with their pointed horns eating. Oh, look at this guy. He's pulled up his stake. That's pretty funny. He's like, no, I don't want my picture taken. So I'm off to town. I picked a sunny day. As I said, it's about 100. But look at this nice, pleasant, beautiful sacred garden where all the temples are. I have to watch my step. I don't want to wind up in quicksand. So, this is what I love about Nepal, the buffaloes. I'm on my way back to the nunnery. Thank God. I'm done with the city. <laughs> Even though it's just a village. That guy thinks I'm nuts probably, but I'm just a foreigner. So, I'm going back for my 12 hours of meditation a day and I love it here. See, Buddha was born right over there. It's about 150 feet away. That's why the vibes are sacred here, here in the sacred garden. And my nunnery is right down the road. And I'm going to go back and take a shower because it's about 150 degrees in the shade. <laughs>